Hey guys, this is Victor Earl Jr. with uh, Earl Family Motorsports. Uh, we race real life, third generation. Um, last time we hit the track, these were a lot of our sponsors. They're great companies that were along with us. I'm um, hoping down in the future in the road that possibly we could have a few others on our virtual racing, which I just created was uh, Vicious Sim Racing. Um, we're going to have the page up and running on Facebook soon enough. It's been created, but there ain't much on it. Um, just wanted to share with you guys today that we did, that I just got this uh, sim rig done. Um, been a lot of work, time, decided to sell the race car due to family, kids. Um, so we decided to go this route because everybody can have fun with it. Everybody can race. I'm just going to give a quick tour of my sim rig. Kind of explain a little bit of everything that we got going on with it. First off, is we got, I decided to go with the Track Racer 8020 uh, TR160. Uh, has become a favorite of mine. It's been really solid and fully adjustable. Uh, what we got here is Rick Motex hydraulic uh, GT pedals. Uh, inverted wheel woods um, I wanted to keep the originality of what we did racing wise um, to keep going with that um, we'll, we'll go around here decide to put motion with the system so it's a 40 OF with traction loss and surge with our great friends the PT actuator they really Awesome service. Great detail and workmanship. I know there's other companies out there, but these guys are coming up and they do a lot of good work with Thanos controller. Big shout out to Thanos providing that for me and we got SimWorks sequential shifter from Australia thing is really crisp clean it's solid you can bang on it all day and we also decided since we went with the Rick Motex hydraulic pedals we decided to go with the handbrake for rally drifting uh, that's also as well. It's hydraulic. Works great. But this is an awesome system. You're, with your traction loss, if you want to understand, you have a system that will move left and right in the rear to make you feel like the car is coming around. Or yaw, like if it was an airplane or a helicopter. And then in surge, it will move forward and backwards. And it will heave up and down. And it will roll. And it will pitch. I have three different wheels. I like the Sparco for the dirt circle track. And then I have the Porsche wheel and also another Fanatec Formula One style wheel. Uh, we decided to go with the LG ultra wide game monitors. They work really well. The 34 inch went with the Fanatec DD1. Things been solid, haven't had no issues yet. Um, played around a little bit of the Fan Lab. I know some don't like it. I do. A lot of detail. Um, also have a stream deck, so we're gonna start streaming. Um, do different things with programs with that. Also with the button boxes. Um, DSD Derek. Great button boxes, Chris. They work really well. Uh, we'll be setting up also uh, the iPad as well with data. Uh, we do have a fourth monitor as well for anything else that we want to work with. Uh, what else? Keyboard. Everything is attachments. Uh, that came with Track Racer. They work really well. Uh, we had to. You know, do some adjustments, fabricate a little bit, um, make some parts for the motion because we don't want these monitors to move. 
so they're solid so I fabricated and welded these mounts which we have double-sided tape on in between so it doesn't move everything moves together solid so it ain't no flex in the monitors also decided to go another route instead of using track racers mounts I welded and built my own which it comes down bolts both sides then it goes along the back side, double side tape, and then what I did is it curves around. So we put a plate in there, and then it curved it all the way around, come out, and then bolted it up. I was able to level these right out, everything's super solid, and did that on both sides. Worked out really well. Um, also, for our data, along with Rise. Definitely in good service. The guy will hook you up. Reasonable price. Works really well. LEDs. Uh, different screens to do different things on it as well. Works really good. We'll get to see some more later on. Um, I had the Logitech surround sound. Uh, the computer. A buddy of mine. At work. Gentleman at work built this. Jake. Thank you. Uh, this thing turned out fantastic. It's a, what, 2080 Ti 7 Ryzen. So this thing's pretty good. You got a lot of memory for it. No issues. Play any games. Plan on going VR in the future. Um, other than that, it's just a quick rundown. I don't want to take everybody's time too much. You know, maybe give you an idea. I'm curious of what you want to do. Uh, this came from Track Racer. It was what they, they consider their computer mount. I didn't really like it for motion to have a computer on there, but this thing actually worked out fantastic to be able to put the monitor boxes, which they're double side tape, they hold it on really well. Box for the Fanatec. This hub is a powered hub 3.0. Everything works through the powered hub. Um, except for Fanatec, uh, we have a direct line to it, uh, the computer, and a direct line from Thanos right to the computer as well. But everything else, we were able to go to the hub. Uh, we will have two webcams that to go directly to the computer as well. Uh, we'll creep down in here, see if you can see... PT actuator system. Now we do have this is track racer. The 20 they're holy cow, the 8020, excuse me. They have an awesome hard metal plate mount. And then Rick Motex pedals, which I actually bought the mount for the pedals that the pedals are actually bolted to. And then dead pedal. That all came from Rick Motex. So that came out of together as a kit. All I did was bolt up four spots right to track racer's solid plate. Worked out really well. And then this bolts here. Now these are sliders. They will slide back and forth on this rail. And we give it for the surge. And then the box where all the servos are inside. There's six servos in here for each actuator. There's six actuators in total. This is uh, actuators for traction loss. And then up above, not sure if I'm just looking at it right. You got the actuator for surge. Eh, PT did good really well. We were able to have this routing for the wiring. Everything wires are able to walk, wrap around, um, mount it real clean, able to give enough for the motion, move back and forth. Really heavy duty uh, platform that PT Actuator came up with, thought out design. Some think well, it looks a little high, but it's actually not that bad. Instead of stepping down into your rig, you just step up a little bit. Um, but it works really well. It's really solid. 
But other than that, uh, we got butt kicker on there, mounted right to the seat. So look for us. I'm posting this video. We're gonna do other videos and start streaming, um, so you guys can see this motion for the next video. This once again, this is Victor Old Jr. I'm not a professional. I'm just a welder, family man here in Pennsylvania, United States. Uh, third generation racer. Want to be able to do this stuff at home. Be able to have fun with the kids. So, we decided to come up with this. This was my build. Everything that I picked out myself. And we pieced it together over a little bit of time. And really enjoyed putting it together. Boys had fun with it as well. Hope to, uh, anybody has any questions, feel free to comment, message me. I can do the best I can to give you a hand. Um, until then, this is Victor Earl with Vicious Sim Racing. We'll talk to you later. Thank you.